All right, so if y'all remember from the last video, y'all know how to get PS2 downloaded and everything, right? So after you got it downloaded and everything, you put it on this app on Crossover, and you click on it, it's gonna show this little this notification right here. For each notification, you gotta click OK for this to work. All right, hit next, next. Now, if you downloaded the uh, PS2 BIOS files, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click, you're gonna click that, hit browse. This pop-up gonna show. Then you gotta click OK. Click OK again, 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 again. All right, then this little tab or this little box or whatever, gonna, this little folder gonna show up. All you gotta do is search for your download section on your computer. Click the plus sign. You should see your PS2 BIOS that you downloaded. Click that and click on US, then hit finish. All right, there you go. Okay, now that PS2 emulator is installed, you're gonna go to C DVD, click on browse, then you're gonna click on your username, go to your downloads folder, click on your PS2 ROM. When you try to open it, the screen gonna be black. That's because you need direct X11. Alright, so you're gonna go to File Horse. Let me show y'all it. File Horse. Click free download. Click this green download bar. Then it should be done download. Okay, next. Click install on the crossover app. Type in Direct X. Direct X 11. Click unlist it. Choose. Click on the Direct X setup. Click install. Click continue. Select bottle, and you're gonna go right to the PS2 emulator you just put on there. Click continue, click install. Click finish. done now what you're gonna do is open up the emulator again get your get your uh, game well it should already be on there and just hit CDVD fast and it should show and that's how you play PS2 on MacBook